f4 you can stop f4 very good with this idea uh, I feel like mm -mm. I mean this attack after h3 bishop h2 and g4 i4 mm -mm. Uh, but but maybe this is good move because I'm keeping my black bishop. Um, so knight e5 might be okay. It's keeping some um, pressure on the king side. Mm -mm. Yeah, after castle, this might be okay. How he takes it? Not sure. He doesn't have knight e4. Mm. So it's kind of I'm I'm closing his uh, king side and his king. Um, so it's separate. This piece are separate now. Kind of. <coughs> oh, he's thinking now. Let's see what he came up with. <sighs> I, I don't know, c5 looks interesting for me and uh, that is, you know, to open the king queen side yeah, okay, and to to have counterplay because usually I'm gonna attack him on the king side slowly attack if I can, especially if I can close the position here but doesn't feel like it's gonna be um, doesn't feel like it's gonna be easy so if I wanna go for the attack if, I, if I'm going for real attack I, I should let having double pawns I think and um, and just castle but I just don't feel it's super good um, I'm just gonna take and castle I I don't know I just don't feel it that um, my attack is gonna be successful so I think after bishop c5 there might be d4 push kind of um, trying to close my e5 pressure um, no I don't like queen b3 heading because uh, my king is still kind of vulnerable if I don't castle and I don't still don't want to have these double pawns as I said if my attack uh, on king side doesn't be successful and because he's very good player he might find good defending moves so at the end in the end game I would have double face pawns so it will be a worst end game because of this structure if I have here and here pawns so b better don't risk it so much that I feel confident if I go in end game I feel like might be the most practical <coughs> he might also go bishop takes takes queen a5 double attack um, maybe this is what he's thinking now but I feel like this might be okay for me because then I'll have a bishop facing the king and um, it's still I don't know tempo gainer with d4 also and castle it just feels uh, good position. How many viewers uh, here? Let's see. I don't know. How many of you are here? 41 people so hi stream if I didn't say hi to somebody hi there um, okay he decided to take on c5 um, hmm. 
So now <laughs> I'm not sure should I go d4 and not let him go d4 or I could just castle. If I go d4 and give him e4, uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting decision. I don't know, I just like different colors. It's more good than only green, you know. Mm. Well, d4 is so solid, I'm giving him e4. Mm. Also, he can check me, maybe. Which is maybe not a big problem after knight d2. Or it can be it can be big problem after knight e4, actually. So, how I defend then? I must go back with the knight. Which is a move I don't usually like to do going back. Mm -hmm. I, I'd rather give him d4. It's kind of also, if he goes d4 closing my my center, I, I might close his bishop actually with e4. So it's kind of double edge for him too. Um, it's not easy decision for him going d Maybe it's even mistake. Maybe I'm just looking for mistake. Yeah. Yeah, actually d4 is a... Yeah, I'm making correct aggressive moves. I'm making uh, this like... Again, semi-aggressive moves. Green are just moves. Yellow uh, super natural moves, guys. So yellow super natural moves. Um... So yeah, different colors, different meanings. You should ever time think what color I'm drawing. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Do <sighs> Supernatural, my favorite um, TV series, guys. Supernatural, have you watched it? Now I'm waiting. In 18th of January, there will be the last uh, episode. Uh, not the last episode, but um, the last episode which is existing. Uh, okay. Knight mm. C6. <laughs> mm. Okay. He's. Kind of annoying move. <laughs> I don't like knight c6. Uh, why are you challenging the center? Leave it. Uh, okay. <coughs> so, if I take first thought, probably he don't he 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 cannot yet use b file, but he can then. Uh, oops. Oh my god! He can challenge my bishop and push the center. Having nice center also open a B file, which probably something which I don't like. Uh, so I'm not gonna take. What are my next options? D4. I'm giving him this square. So not so sure. But I'm keeping the push of E pawn. Um, it took so drawish but okay I'm I don't mind drawish let's think objective um mm. take takes 92 if he goes Bishop d6 maybe Knight f3 hmm I can go also bishop h4 if I wanna. Some annoying pin. Um, knight c3 saying heading. Um, I don't really like knight c3. Because he can just take, I take knight d7, kicking the bishop, and then maybe e5. Or maybe not immediately e5, I'm, I'm hitting d5. Uh, there is a point, yeah. There is point of knight c3 actually. Hitting d5. So it's kind of stopping e5 at some positions. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. What is the best move? Hmm. I feel like D4. I wanna kick him. <laughs> kick him back. Um. Okay. It's. I'm having E5. I'm giving him E4. Not a big deal. feel like it's so equal this position mm. yeah also d4 is very strong Kazuvas very nice point mm, knight c3 d4 and then I don't have the option of e4 even and he can blast open this diagonal which would be very nice for him or oh, maybe i can get away with knight a4 actually and a4 again maybe it's not too bad d4 if i'm thinking now more and more no i think knight c3 might be a good move guys not so bad Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Knight c3, d4, knight a4. I'm hitting the bishop. And uh, then I can still go e4. Maybe my knight will be trapped after b5. But uh, yeah, after b5, where am I going actually? Yeah, it will be trapped actually. <laughs> so yeah, nice point. Knight c3, d4 is bad. <laughs> mm -mm. B5 mm. mm. Alright, he goes to B6 Which I thought is a Now I think this is uh, inaccuracy What is doing the bishop there? That's a mistake guys um, It's hitting uh, a wall of Pawns, he should go to d6, I think. So how how can I use this advantage? That's a super slow advantage, but I, this might be the wrong idea. This might be our our hope for not having a draw. Uh, so first, let's pin him. So it's pretty annoying pin. He cannot take here, and this bishop cannot go to e7. So easy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he expert. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. So, yeah, that looks like a big mistake, positional, strategical, I don't know how to explain it. But this might be giving some hope for attack now. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Hmm. Ma but maybe not too fast. Maybe first knight move. Uh, bringing more artillery in the action not sure how exactly i'm gonna attack him mm -mm. but looks good for now <laughs> okay if bishop c7 is played trying to challenge the the knight f4 is logical um what else he might go he might go h6 g5 but this is weakening his side of the king and this might be fire back for him mm. So I can again just go on ID2 and prepare something about F4, F5 or FG. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly. <laughs> but there I, I have to figure out, figure something. H6 is actually maybe 